I'm going to walk the talk now and tell you a little bit about what we are doing in health systems to help the response capacity against COVID-19 throughout the Americas. So we have a pool of well-qualified, well-experienced experts in health systems and services uh, throughout the region, in our country offices and here in Washington DC that are now dedicated full-time to working with countries in building the response capacity in preparing and planning for COVID-19 and most importantly to ensure that our essential health services continue to operate. So what type of people are we? Well, we have experts in health services who really are working with countries in reorganizing and reconfigurating the health services to be able to deal with COVID-19 from the first level of care right through to hospital capacity, but also to maintain essential health services. We have experts in quality of care that are working together with epidemiologists in the issues of uh, infection prevention and control. We have experts in medicines and technologies. They're the people that look at specifications, criteria, eligibility, availability of really important supplies such as PPEs, diagnostics and ventilators. And we have governance people, people who work in policy and regulation, working with our countries around issues of the essential public health functions in programming and planning to really to be able to scale up and build that capacity that we need at this moment in time. We have experts in health workforce and human resources for health. And these are the people that are working with our emergency operations centers and our incident management team with countries to begin to look at the issues of how we can really protect our health workforce in these times and how we can really begin to plan looking forward in reconfiguring health services and to ensure that we have the necessary competencies in the places where we need them. And we have our strategic fund team and they've been working hand in hand with our procurement entities in our medicines and technologies group to ensure and to increase access to the very necessary supplies of PPEs, diagnostics and ventilators throughout the region. So this is who we are in health systems and services. We're a team, but we're only one element of a much bigger team at the Pan American Health Organization. I'm going to continue on my walk the talk now and enjoy this beautiful day. Take care. Quiero enviarles un mensaje de positividad y refuerzo. Recuerden que ya hemos recorrido mucho, pero aún nos falta mucho por recorrer. Aprovecho la oportunidad para enviarles un abrazo fuerte y sincero de solidaridad y de fortaleza entre todos, ya que hemos estado viviendo quizás las ocho semanas más difíciles de nuestras vidas. Cuidémonos porque juntos vamos a lograr salir adelante, apoyar a nuestra población y aunque él nos quiera separar, vamos a estar más unidos para lograr la meta, que es la recuperación y nuevamente volver a abrazarnos como hermanos. Un fuerte abrazo y adelante, no se rindan. Queremos pedirle a todos que sigamos adelante, que seamos solidarios los unos con los otros, viendo en cada paciente por una persona que puede recuperarse. Exhorto a los compañeros de salud que sigamos luchando con la misma fuerza, con la misma interés, dando la milla extra por nuestros pacientes. Saludos. Recordemos que el enfoque inclusivo de las personas migrantes es imprescindible como respuesta a la crisis. Sigue las recomendaciones de salud pública y ayúdenos a detener la propagación del virus. Tu país te necesita, el mundo te necesita. Estamos todos unidos de corazón, con nuestra vocación, dedicación y cuidados, juntos superaremos esta crisis. Enfermera del Hospital del Niño de Panamá, y lista para cuidarte con calidad, eficacia y amor. A todos los colegas del mundo queremos darle nuestro apoyo y desearle éxito en sus labores en la lucha en contra del coronavirus. ¡Juntos venceremos! Enfermería, terapia respiratoria, personal de aseo, todo en un tratamiento óptimo y de alta calidad al paciente clínicamente enfermo. Juntos podemos vencerlo. Gracias. Colleagues, recognizing the enormous effort and contribution of all our health workforce during this pandemic, I'd like to invite you now to join me in an applause in recognition of their commitment.